a lot of people are having the problem of connection failed while trying to get into Warzone 2, so I'm going to share my experience and uh, and show you a little trick that I use to get into the game. It might work for you, but I'm going to run through the whole process and, and a few different things. So restart your computer after you've installed the drivers, and then quit out and go back in if you haven't added your phone number yet. You should have a message pop up about that. you got to add a phone number to your account. And then, um, as you can see, I got hit with this um, loading playlists, updating playlists, that's the one. And I was, I was sitting here for quite some time. So if you get this coming up, I also suggest you back out because it'll probably result in a connection failure. Uh, there's a, a big troubleshoot section that tells you to check that the servers are up and your game servers are up and you haven't got problems with your system and test your home network. You can you can try switching over from Ethernet to Wi-Fi and stuff like that. It could help. But what I did, I just went into my connection here and clicked disable and then re-enabled it. So this is in control panel, network internet, network connection. So I hope this works for you, but we do have 26, well, 23 million people online, nearly 24 million people playing right now. So there is a lot of problems with servers, uh, people trying to get in, maybe just servers being a bit overwhelmed. So it could be a bit of a tedious task of quitting out and reloading in and quitting out and reloading in. But I do hope my little tip there worked or you found this video helpful. If so, drop a like. And, uh, and I hope to see you on another one, but this time in the game.